Hi there, it's a common magician with a quick follow-up of video to a couple of the last um, recent videos, actually, kind of combining some ideas here. Uh, I've got a deck of cards, got some dice here, and I've got seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dice, and uh, we're going to use these in a minute. Uh, but first, uh, I'd have you shuffle the deck, you can shuffle the cards all you want until you're happy, and then... Uh, what I want you to do is I want you to uh, uh, think of any card, uh, really just take out any card that you see from the spread anywhere that you want. Um, just for time, I won't use a randomizer app or anything. We'll just make some random choices. You'll just have to trust me here. Uh, let's say we take out the uh, uh, Eight of Hearts. Let's see if I can get it. Eight of Hearts. And uh, these are Star Wars, Star Wars Theory 11 cards, Father's Day present. So, uh, Eight of Hearts, and I'd ask you to take out uh, one more card. Uh, just make it make it a different value and a different color. So it's it's a, a, a variety uh, is what we're, what we're after here. So uh, so different color, different value. Let's say you take out the uh, Ten of Clubs. The Ten of Clubs. So you have the Eight of Hearts, Ten of Clubs, uh, random choices. And uh, what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to uh, do something with the dice. Uh, what I want you to do is I want you to just roll uh, roll the dice and uh, try to get a kind of a random set of numbers here. So if you roll like that, and you see we've got quite a few ones, so why don't I have you uh, take maybe uh, uh, three of those and roll those again, just so we have some, some variety. So that's a little bit better. Uh, and uh, what I want to do here is we're going to try something interesting uh, with the number that you rolled. Now, we can see all of the spots on the dice. We can see every spot everywhere except for one, one area. We can't see what's against the table. We don't know what those numbers are. Those are those are a mystery. Um, what I'm going to have you do is I want you to take the deck and I want you to uh, deal down the number of spots that we can't see, this mystery number that you've rolled. So, for example, if I just look at the spots that are on top here, I would uh, uh, deal the number of spots that I see here. So, uh, uh, working, working my way from here uh, through, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and so on, if that makes sense. Okay, so what I want you to do is just take the cards, and I want you to deal the number that we have on the underside, this mysterious mystery number that you have. So there's the cards. You rolled this number. We don't know what it is. Watch. I will very fairly turn over the dice. That is the number that you rolled. You have the cards. I won't touch them. Uh, if you could just please deal that number. So you would do this, and we'll work from here down and around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. And if if you could take the remaining cards and just drop them on top. So let's recap the situation here. Okay, we'll go in reverse order. You dealt the number of spots that you rolled, this mystery number. You, you did this yourself. I did not touch the cards. And before that, you freely chose these two cards. First, the eight of hearts, then the ten of clubs. First, the Eight of Hearts and the Ten of Clubs. Now, this uh, you could think about as a sort of a composite, right? First, you chose the Eight. Then you chose the Clubs. And that would give you kind of a new value that even you weren't thinking about. The Eight of Clubs. Free choices. Shuffled, shuffled deck, free choices, free roll, 
you dealt the cards, this is where we ended up. Eight of clubs. Go ahead and turn over the next card. Eight of clubs. So this is a demonstration of uh, an idea that I was referring to in the last video re regarding uh, dice. This, this, uh, this die force, that is the force that you have with a die where the opposing sides equal seven. Uh, so we have two here and the opposite side would be five and the total is seven. Uh, and then just kind of raising this and, and burying that principle uh, by adding more dice and presentationally eliminating one half of the equation so that you're left with just the remaining number, which can be different every time. Um, what we're doing here is uh, uh, we're applying this idea to a deck of 52 cards, mathematically such, that it will, it'll be self-working. There's really only one slight involved, and it's not really a slight. You can layer in a couple of other false cuts, uh, maybe even a, a, sh a retention shuffle where you retain one card, uh, which is not certainly not difficult to do. Um, but it's entirely self-working except for one open control, which I talked about several videos back. So here's, here's what I have going on, and here's how the math works. Seven dice adding opposing sides gets you to 48. Is that right? No, 49. Sorry, 49. So we have 49. Seven times seven is 49. Math. Uh, and we have 52 cards. Okay, so think about this presentationally. If they shuffle the deck, you spread the cards. And this is something I talked about a couple videos back about being one ahead on the information while they're one behind on the procedure. If you have them choose a card, any freely thought of card, let's say the King of Diamonds, and then you tell them to choose another one that's a different color, different value, something very different. Let's say they pick the Two of Spades. Right now, I already know that the composite card is going to be the King of Spades, right? So what I'm doing is I'm looking at the deck and I'm scouting out the king of spades. And once I find it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift it to the bottom by picking up at the king of spades. So what I'm going to do is as I close up the spread, I will drop my thumb on the king of spades, not one ahead of it, but right on it. And I'm going to push off the cards over top of that card. And this is not seen in view. Right, I'm, I have hand coverage over this, and they're behind on the information anyway. So I'm going to slide off over top of the King of Spades, and then I'm going to pick up these cards and drop them on the remaining of the spread, uh, remaining cards in the spread. So now here's my situation: the King of Spades is now on the bottom of the deck. Now I can take the cards and turn them over. And if I choose, I could do a shuffle. I just have to drop the bottom card first. As long as I drop the bottom card first, this is this is uh, uh, completely controlled. Okay. If I want to, I could do a false cut. I don't have to. Uh, or I could just leave everything as it is, and I can be very clean. That way I can get to the end and say, look, you shuffled the cards. You were the last person to shuffle the cards, and, and it's all going to come out right. So think about this for a minute. 52 cards minus 2 cards is 50 cards. The total top and bottom is 49. What that means is that if I deal through the sum of the top and the bottom of 7 dice... The remaining card in the stack will be number 50, which will be the bottom card of the deck. So this is completely self-working and self-contained. Uh, all I have to do is control the composite value to the bottom of the deck. Any control that you want. Uh, in this case, we're just using an open shift. It doesn't have to be covert. You just, you just drop on the target card so that it's at the bottom set that on the bottom, turn the cards over, and you're ready to go. And then the rest is, the rest is uh, as described in the, the most recent video. Uh, this is a self-working card trick. They, they will roll. Uh, you'll notice in the example there, I ended up with like three of the same value. Here I've got two fives, two fours, two twos. That's fine. I think if you have three or four 
uh, numbers that are all the same, you want to probably have them roll some of those so that they uh, come up different. You get more variety. And that's completely justified, right? Say, so well, we want some more variety. Otherwise, when you turn over, you'll see four that are the same again, and it can be a little bit... Um, uh, a little bit telling as far as the method goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain what they will do by saying I can see all these numbers on the dice uh, on every side except for one side, which is the bottom. And that's a mystery number that you've rolled. Nobody knows what that is. In a moment, I'm going to have you deal cards to that number. For example, if we look here and I deal the number that we see, uh, I'll just go down the line here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And then I can just drop these on top or uh, I can do this separation uh, maneuver that I explained before, just divide it in half, drop the bottom packet, then drop the top packet. And that way you maintain the bottom card where it was. Okay, um, that's it. Now it's all set up for whenever we turn the dice over. So you set the cards over there, ask them if they understand, say very fairly, I'm going to turn the dice over, turn them over, square it up, say there's your mystery number, you have the cards, I'm not going to touch them, uh, nobody knew what this was, in fact let's recap, you rolled this, this number, right, and this is the number we came up with and nobody's seen it until right now. You have the cards, I'm not going to touch them. You shuffled the deck. From the deck, you took out two cards that you thought of. First, it was the King of Diamonds and then the Two of Spades. Go ahead and deal that number. They'll deal the number out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Say, drop the rest of the cards on top. And then explain the premise. You thought of the king of diamonds. You thought of the two of spades. From this, we have a composite uh, 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 identity, the king of spades. Go ahead and turn over the next card, king of spades. So um, I think the power of this idea is in the recap. You want to recap the procedure either in order or in reverse order, paying close attention to their free choices and the fact that they had control, that they did everything. Uh, and then at the very end, you explain the composite identity that they came up with. Okay, so right before the reveal is when you're going to point out they have this card, which is the value, this card, which is the suit, turn over the next card, and then there it is. So I think that's when you want to um, uh, put that out in the open. But that's a handling using two recent ideas that gets the math perfect with a 52-card uh, deck of cards. No jokers in there. Uh, you remove two cards for composite identity, and just by doing that, you get the math right. So otherwise, uh, alternatives to this, let's say you have six uh, dice. This is a good way to do it uh, because seven's a lot. I mean, seven's a lot. You you often will find six dice in, in games or in packages of dice. Uh, oftentimes, five will be the one that you get. I think Yahtzee has five. I can't remember how many dice are in there. Um, but you have you have this kind of situation where six is a kind of a common amount. Seven, you're going to have to scrounge around and um, cannibalize some different board games to get that or buy uh, more dice than you need to get that. I actually had to re-spot a die just to do this tutorial because I didn't have seven that were spotted properly. Um, but you could do this with six or five. What you want to do, let's say you have six. One, one way to do this is to do your same um, selection. So they take the queen of uh, four of spades, queen of diamonds, four of spades, uh, and then I collect. Uh, what I'm set with now is... Uh, negative seven, right? So what I can do is I'm, I could say in a minute, I'm going to have you deal the cards uh, like this, right? And what I'm doing is I'm dealing seven off. So I just eliminate seven and then I can drop them uh, to the bottom, right? So I, I say in a minute, I'm going to have you deal and I can just deal three and then four. And I know I've got seven. 
Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to deal a number. Now, there's a mystery number underneath the uh, 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 dice that you rolled that we can't see, right? For example, you have the number that's on top, right? The, the ones that we can see really easy, and you deal those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Okay, so you're going to do that. You're just going to deal the number, that mystery number that we have. Go ahead and deal out this number, as we see for the first time. Go ahead and deal that number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, Recap, blah, 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 queen of diamonds, four of spades, queen of spades. You dealt the number and you ended up at the queen of spades. So you can uh, uh, get this number down a little bit just with uh, one quick ruse where you deal off seven cards in a preliminary explanation of what they're going to do. Then you say, no, really, for example, it's going to be like this. So you just have to have justification for dealing down cards. But you could use less dice. Seven just makes it perfect uh, if you can acquire seven dice. Again, you can call it the power of seven, um, which, I don't know, that really kind of tips off the method a little bit. So you might not want to, but um, uh, between you and me, that could be the name of the trick. I don't know. So anyway, that's a, a presentation that makes it perfect. The math comes out perfectly, full deck. You don't have to divide it. A little less procedure in there. Remove two gets you to 50. 49 is the target number. It leaves the remaining card on the top of the deck. If it starts on the bottom, there you go. Power of seven. Good luck with that. Happy magicking.